And now I read the epic of Aesop, the black philosopher in English. Speaking of African studies or of Africa, the origin of all living things, the origin of all humankind, and the origin of the first civilization. Very little is known. Very little has been studied so far. And a great deal more remains to be studied, to be excavated, to be rediscovered. The name Aesop means in the Egyptian Cushitic hieroglyphs, the upper throne, the higher throne. Etop, the name of Etopia, means the upper truth, the higher truth. <laughs> Aesop. It was the year of the tall black falcon, where the rainbow bridge still stretched to the four cardinal corners of the seven skies. Come to Aesop, the first Ethiop, the Iker Nefrat, the most masterful performer of the thrashing fields who walked first in the footprint of the gods upon the sacred mountain of Cushitic camp. He is the first born of the earth and sky mother at Bara. A lightning throne was sent down for him from the cosmos. Her belt of the glowing shimmer of the rainbow is decorated for his elegant aura. He is the crowned one by the hollow of a double point. Come to the flesh of the sky called Aesop, cover of the first magic of metaphors, craftsman of the eloquent rhyming words, master teller of the fire of tales. He is the upper truth. Aesop is the flesh of the sun, who became Ethiop, the first son of the upper throne. Come. Once upon the dawn of innocent time, Aesop was the dancer that walked on the endless cosmos, who was born and was raised and vitalized across the stage of the sacred mountain as Atbara's son of eloquent song, where Zeus had come to pay him homage, followed by his nine rigid little gods frigid little gods who seeked his peace and seeked his care and resumed their frost-beaten songs for them, warmed up their frozen arms, resumed their awkward legs, glowed their broken words for them, and they did not shiver anymore. And Aesop, the son of the daughter of the sky, the firstborn wonder of the earth's mother, Adbara, began to make them walk, his own immortal walk, floating them on the flames of his own songs and sharing with them his own festival of the sun. And he taught them the secret love of the magic of his tales and their voices were reborn of fire at once and their tongues did not stammer anymore, and their dances began to melt the hearts of rocks. Come, Aesop, builder of the bridge of the magical myth. Jumper on the lakes of Icarus in the sky. Aesop, who made the Greeks imbibe his hamitic hamlet like milk, and at whose feet their masters first knelt for more, for Homer to hammer, the music of hum.
from Aesop's Udasse and Wedduse into his Odyssey. And, the, and for Oedipus, the lamb legged to dance first on the abundant windows of Earth's mother at Bara, long, long before Aesop's children of black Egypt were born out of his own Abai night, long, long before the days of the horny Solomon, of the 1,000 and more concubines, who was infatuated by the famed Ethiopian queen of Saba and wrote to her, many waters cannot quench love. It was long before the years of the sacred ibex, when single-horned endemic birds flew nowhere else in the world but here. On the sacred roof of Mother Africa, when Zeus came to partake in the laughter of the sun and was spellbound and was elevated onto the magic wings of Aesop, the first Ethiop, and Zeus, the freezing cowherd led by Aesop, picked up his first golden flute, when Moses also later picked up his first magic rod, and they at first had learned how to sing wild, and they at first had learned how to dance free. In the footprint of Aesop, the first Ethiop, it was then the year of the tall black falcons where the rainbow bridge still stretched to the four corners of the skies. Long, long before the gray dwarfs beyond the Mediterranean began to shake off their barbaric skins and shivered with fear at the sight of the elegance of Aesop, the first Ethiop, come, where Atbara, his earth and sky mother, still floats on her own endless up by the Nile. From the Tana mother source across the Mediterranean mouses into the Byblos and far beyond across the stormy heads of the Dead Seas, beyond the eternal roofs of Africa's glowing heavens, come. Come to Aesop, for whom Ethiopia stretched her hands in supplication to the first God. And this is how first come that Homer and come like Abraham were taught how to walk upright in the sky of Aesop and Abraham the slave of the sons of Kamitic kings sacrificed his first golden ship on the sacred mountain for the love of God come where Jesus the child of the Virgin Mary found refuge from their herods the killer of babies and where Aesop made him rest among the sacred cows of the land of Cush. For he is Aesop, the masterful children's storyteller, to whom Muhammad also sent his destitute family to seek refuge from their terrible quarriers. For Aesop is the chosen protector of the Ark of God, where the destitute first, first sons of Israel came to seek refuge from their terrible hunger and where little Jacob, whom his big brother sold for food, began to see his first revelation of survival on the first temple mountain of Kam. For Aesop is the first Akka of the Akka Kayu that flew from the Akika upon the Aknaton and from the Aksum upon the Acropolis, across the Akra back to the Farrakhan. For he is Aesop, the first ever Ethiop. Come, rise, warrior poets, for tomorrow's resurrection of new constellations. Share the shower of the earth and sky mother Atbara, that first rained down her milk of heaven upon Aesop, the first dancer in the festival of the sun. Come, mix with the Gariba cult men of golden Arce, where as the most high Saint Gabriel, the Tabot, revelations, their cry of powerful elegy poetry is rang out. 
into the dead silence of the night and into Africa's deepest celestial moonlight. Come to the rainbow bridge on the sacred mountain that stretched far east upon the walls of China today and far west upon the peaks of New York today, upon the pagodas of Moscow, upon the towers of London. Come to Aesop, the first gift of the sun to earth that rises on the pyramids of black Egypt, across the pounding of Tokyo and into the steaming of Calcutta. Come, jump in the skyscape of time with Aesop, the leg of Ocarius that can never be broken, that can never be frozen, with the immortal dancer that can never be stopped. Come, kneel where Zeus, like Aesop, in imitation first knelt, to imbibe upon the enlivening breasts of the eternal earth and sky mother Atbara, where earthy Justinian, like godly Apis, and tyrant Caesar, like initiated Alexander, were nurtured upon the arms of Cleopatra and Hashashputs, upon the breasts of Mother Atbara and Sister Hathor, and first learned how to walk upright. Come, walk the giant walk of Aesop, the Ethiop, where from mighty Matcha to powerful Ramses, from rebel Akhenaton to innocent Tutankhamun, the passage is passed from the holy mountain of Kam to Caleb of Najran to Theodros of Magdala to Menelik of Adwa. Come, where the remotest inbuilt Falasha jewelry still mix their existential warab dance with the most heap of rock breaks today and where the recent endemic rastas of Bob Marley have mixed with them their ancient reggae again. Come. By right of birds to grow high their wings on the first cosmic gala of Mother Africa. Come. It is now once again the year of the tall black falcon, where the whole world has come back to be born again. Come, warrior poets, for tomorrow's new rise. Walk together upon the festival of the sun. Come to the supreme teller of the magic of tales. Come to the upper truth, to Aesop, who is the flesh of the sky, who became Ethiop, the first son of the upper throne. Come to the most sacred mountain in the sky, to the poet that still cry out into the silences of the nights. Where the Milky Way, called Urji Gurrisa, is first born. To the immortal bridge on our rainbow, come to Aesop, the first Ethiop, to the masterful walker in the footprint of gods. Come.